All right, everybody, got a lot of tests here, so what are we looking at? Uh, first of all, let me start by saying I just finished shooting a video about 15 minutes or 18 minutes long, you know, one of my good talkies. And I'm going on at length about my frustration about these tests where I do a huge water change and my before and after never seem to be any kind of discernible difference. Well, just to be contrary, uh, I've got a discernible difference after this water change, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. The test in the top center is my source water. Uh, as you can see, these are zero nitrites. This is nitrite testing, not nitrate. Um, the test on the top right is from one of my most established ticks over like clockwork type tanks. Uh, as I've always said, you will have uh, trace amounts of nitrites in your tank because they're being produced in your tank and your tank has to have time to deal with them so there's always going to be trace amounts and I and that shading on this scale um, is I mean we're talking down to like 0 .00 it, I mean you're off, almost off the scale altogether I can't really do this with one hand um, it, it's ridiculously low so this test is from last night at about 10 o'clock this is a sample that was taken before the water change, which is actually a little darker than that. I know it's hard to tell, but it is ever so slightly darker. So I was still accumulating overnight. And then I just did about a 50% water change. And again, it's difficult to tell, but there is a reduction. And when you get down into these very, very low numbers, you know, there, there's not much room for gradient in the coloration. Um, so you're not going to see, you know, bright red versus light pink. Uh, it's just going to be subtle differences, but they are there. They are noticeable. Um, you know, my control tests confirm that everything is working as it should. So I'm still getting nitrites building up little by little, but we're getting there and I'm going to keep on top of it. And I'm going to go ahead and publish that other video anyway. Um, I talk about a few other things. I kind of ramble on about osmo regulation and diffusion, and it's got some tidbits in there that are worth listening to. Um, so I will go ahead and publish that one anyway, but you'll probably get this one first. So thanks for watching this, and I hope you enjoy the next one.